Now can you guys hear me? I'm sorry about that. I hope this is working. Test, test, test. Let me know. Oh boy. Me and the computer. Hopefully, hopefully that's a little bit better. So now I get to start over. I'm sorry about that, guys. Again, it's been a little while since uh, Kittle's done a stream. And, um, yeah. And it's been even longer since I've done a mail call. I apologize for that. Um, and now I get to say hi to people again. I want to say hi to Lima Echo Numismatics, who was only the second person in the channel. Did not make it first this time. I feel like I'm repeating myself. I've already said all this once. But uh, Nicolette Javis, thanks for coming in. We had Johnny Kilo, NTF Coin, Sparkle Flare. David Carlisle says, is this thing on? Well, shoot, David, I thought it was on. I thought it was. <laughs> Anyway, um, Lima wanted to know if I added a swear jar command. I have not. I forgot about that. I probably should do that because uh, Lima likes to call me out on that. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to set up Nightbot for my gaming channel. And, um, yeah, I probably should put the swear jar on there for Lima because sometimes I play some of these video games. And if you want to know about my gaming, ch gaming channel, just exclamation point game will get you the link to that. Um... I think Lima needs the swear jar command over there a little bit more, perhaps. Uh, Mystery Man, thanks for coming in. Gringo, what's going on? OG22, John Argent, uh, Gareth, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. And um, yeah, I guess we're just going to get to this. I know there's a lot of people streaming right now, a lot of other cool streams coming up soon. I don't want to be streaming over too many people if I don't have to. I just wanted to bang out this mail call, just give thanks to a lot of the people that sent me some cool stuff, do some shout outs. And, and, of course, say hello to all the fans out there. So, hello, hello, hello. Even though Johnny Kilo's Team Penny, I mean, what's up with that? What's up with that? Well, assuming Nightbot's going to work and actually do actually do that, I don't know. Nightbot's kind of kind of crazy sometimes. It comes and goes. But, um, okay, I guess let's just get into this. So, as many of you know, the YouTube coin community has tons of amazing channels putting out all kinds of cool content regularly. Uh, lots of opportunities for buying, selling, trading, giveaways. Just got to take the time to look around and meet some others. And, um, yeah, I've been lucky enough to win a couple giveaways in the last couple months. Did some trades, got some, you know, sticker trades and coin trades. And I've been mentioning to others my mail has been piling up. And it's way past time to be doing these shout-outs for some other channels and to show you what I've gotten. Uh, I want you to remember that all the links of all the channels that we talk about during this stream are in the description below if you want to take a look at them and uh, show them some support. And I encourage you to do so. Um, if you guys are going to see all this mail I get and go, wow, Kittle, he gets so much stuff. I wish I even got a little bit of that mail that Kittle gets. Well, you can. All you got to do is click on those links for those channels and support them and play along on their streams. And believe me, I'm not doing anything special here. So there we go. Tyler, how you doing? How you doing? All right, we're going to get into this. First off, we got mail from the coins for amateurs. And I was going to be posting in links for each time, but you know what? You, all the links are in the description below. You guys can uh, check these out. And um, let's see what we got. Coins for Amateurs, you guys know them. They do a great channel. They're actually going to be streaming here in about 90 minutes, so that's why I don't want to go too much further past them. And uh, they're going to be opening up a box of scents. They go through them. They use a score sheet. They keep track of what's going on. And um, they do plenty of giveaways during their stream, too. And they have lots of supporters that uh, support their channel. Definitely worth checking out. I think they got a little over 13,000 subscribers right now. And um, they also put together, the donors send in stuff to them. They put together a package for young numismatists. They pick one kid a month and uh, send them a whole basically coin collecting starter kit. But really, it's a whole coin collection they end up sending. And it's um, really cool. You're not in the links. Muscle Shell, sorry, I don't know, did I get mail from you? If I got mail from you and I forgot to show it, Muscle Shell, I apologize, because I got a lot of packages here I went through. But anyway, um, speaking of giveaways, we're also going to be doing a giveaway here during this stream. You might notice I got a Franklin half dollar under the camera. Might give that away here at the end. And then right here in this pile here, well, it's not a pile yet, it's just one sticker, we're going to start a pile of duplicate items we get in the mail calls. So first of all, you see the CFAs sent me a sticker and a magnet. Well, I know I have one of their stickers already. I don't know if I have the magnet, but I know I have the sticker. So we're just going to add that right there. So this is going to be our giveaway pile. So whatever ends up in this pile, plus that Franklin half dollar right here. Um, and that's a nice one. Let's just show this real quick. It's a nice 
high end AU, maybe even uncirculated 58D. So if anybody wants a chance at that, just stick around and hang out. Should be fun. Got Rand Goldner. What's going on? <laughs> meow meow to you. So we'll just go ahead. Well, we'll keep that one under the scope for now. Until we have something else to put under the scope. And so we got the CFA. And so this is what I won. So every like 50 likes or 100 likes or they do giveaways. And um, I think I got lucky and won one of those. And this is a 1942 Philadelphia Walking Liberty Half Dollar I got from them. So thank you to the coins for amateurs. And again, hopefully we can end this stream in the next 90 minutes or so. Right when theirs is about starting. And um, maybe we could all go visit them. I don't even think this will take 90 minutes. So next up. I got a big package of mail from, I want to make sure there's no addresses, I think I got most of the addresses up here, Found It Buried. So Found It Buried, you guys know that channel, and if you don't, again, there's a link down below. Long time spamming shelter. <laughs> Ran. Um, so yeah, the link's below, and not too long ago, well I guess it was a couple months ago, they did a, a stickers around the world raffle slash giveaway. So found it buried, spent a couple months going through, asking all his friends to start sending in stickers. And he put together a big package of stickers and did a big giveaway on his channel. So let's get all this out of here. And that's everything out of the package. Let's set the package to the side. And I didn't get by a raffle entry to this raffle, but I guess I won an entry. I don't remember exactly how I won it. But Anyway, it turned out that I won an entry into the raffle for all the coins, and not all the coins and stickers, but for, the, I guess, one of the top prizes. And you might have saw from the last mail call I did, I got a, a silver uh, pour from Redneck Metals, which was a little t uh, silver toilet. That was one of the prizes as part of this. I just got his first and then found that berries came a little bit later, part of it. So in here, there's a couple, I don't know, ring, a couple rings. Probably have to give those to my sister or something. This one here says, don't, don't cut, open nicely. There's a bill inside. So yeah, I just got real lucky and ended up winning this big pile of stuff. So we're going to go through and see what it is. This here is a Bank of Mexico, Cinco Pesos, and it looks like it's from about 1969. Really poor condition, like kind of fragile. That's why he said don't cut. Native Warrior, how's it going? What's going on? And so that's that. So that's in there. We'll go to the letter here first. Found it buried. First place. I guess I won first place. Found it buried. Coin roll hunting. Metal detecting. Thank you for partic participating in stickers from around the world raffle from Found It Buried. Thank you, Mike, for being such a strong community family member. Congrats. And then thank you for supporting the channel. Very cool. So that's from Found It Buried, the letter. We'll start putting some of this stuff to the side because this is going to pile up here a little bit. Let's just see all this stuff that we got real quick. So this is a silver Canadian dime with the, I think it's a mackerel on there, the fish. Uh, we got the 1967 rabbit nickel. We got the 67 quarter with uh, the cougar, I believe, on it, or some kind of big cat, Ran. There's a big cat for you. Check it out. Got a 1979 S proof Washington quarter. Got here a Bicentennial Sons of Liberty medal from 1972. And we got this bag of coins, too. I always got to go to the coins first, right? What's in this bag of coins? Holy cow, there's a lot of coins in here. Let's just go through them. There's a little silver Canadian dime. Here's a one-tenth ounce silver uh, American Silver Eagle design. A 1960 silver Canada quarter. A 58 silver Canada quarter. A 66 Canadian quarter, a 1968 Kennedy half, 40% silver. There's a couple toonies here, the $2 coins from Canada. Just different designs. This one's got a pretty cool ship on it. I guess I could show it here under, under this too. Looks like it's dated 1812, so it's probably a 19 or 2012. Let's see. 2012, yep. Anniversary of the War of 1812, probably. The War of 1812. So that's a pretty cool one. Let's put that back there. Uh, what else is in here? There's another Kennedy half, a 1967. There's a 1962 Canadian half dollar. 
couple more Canadian quarters that are silver, a few more Canadian dimes, and another 1967 uh, half. So it looks like there's at least two 67 40% silver halves, so we'll just add one of those to the giveaway pile. How about that? And you know what? We'll add this 1979 S-proof to Washington as well. So the, the whole giveaway was called Stickers from Around the World, and look at this pile of stickers that I got here. All these stickers came from Found at Buried's giveaway there. Let's start pushing some of this other stuff to the side here, because we'll just go through these real quickly. I won't even read off all the channels, because there's so many of them. Maybe I'll read off most of them. So we got Silver Giveaways, Ian Gath, CR62, Silver and More. That's Christian in Germany. Got a couple from Popzilla, a regular one, and a hologram one. Armando from The Vault. TNC Diggers, another Silver Giveaways. Rob Random. You got this is from Penny Dog. It's Brutus, their Silver Dirt Face. Uh, Southern Bell, another Penny Dog. Which one's this one? It's hard to read that. New Chummins, okay. Michael E. Fines. Uh, AU Family Prospecting. Lady Bullion, another AU Family Prospecting. SMK. Inefficient Stacker. Miss Canadian Scrapper. I got a whole sticker collection here. Badlands. Bastard Rub Barbecue Spice. SMK. Bill J Version 2. Ron Just Diggin' Life. Baja Wild Man. Peace, Love, and Hope. Another Penny Dog. Another Penny Dog. I'm dropping some of them here. Mayo's Coins. Found It Buried. Who we already talked about. Because well, this, this is his giveaway. <laughs> Uh, Canadian Scrapper, Victoria Roman Carters, a holographic sticker, all kinds, look at all these stickers, another Mia's Coins, Stacking Hoarding Tinkering Fun, a sticker and a coaster, Sterling Cannabis Stacking, another Found It Buried, Nick Molnar, Oldies and Goodies, and I know I sent in stickers too to this, but I'm guessing he probably didn't send me my own sticker, Mountain Wolf, uh, just another average stacker, Cherie Ward, Mark the Berg Hunter. And then some big ones here. Look at this one. Metal Detecting North Carolina. And then check out Fox Run Forges. Holy cow. This is just like a quarter next to it. Just see how big that sticker is. So yeah, I got a pile of stickers there. I'm not going to add any of those yet to this giveaway pile. Because uh, I can't remember which one. I know some of these will be duplicates for the stickers I already have. But I want to make sure that I'm not giving away ones that are the only ones I have. So... Thank you for that, Found It Buried. I'm just, I guess I just got really lucky winning that entry into the giveaway. Because it was kind of a raffle slash giveaway. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty wild. So, anyway, thanks for that. And then, again, remember the last episode of In the Mail that we did. I also got that uh, silver poured toilet from a, um, Redneck Metals that was part of the prize. But, all right, next up, we're getting through this. This is from... Lady Kid Nichols and Clever Coin Name. And they like to actually put stickers on their packages too, so that's kind of fun. So let's see what Lady Kid Nichols and Clever Coin Name sent me. This is going to be a fun one. Make sure everything's out of the package itself. It is, so let's get the big bubble mailer out of the way. So, first of all, we're going to go to the cards. They sent me this little interesting thing. It's a radio chart. You guys ever see this? I'm not going to go into too much detail about this, but it's a. Just an interesting card they thought of throwing in there. It's a radio chart, so... And it's got some feet on it. Really interesting, so... You guys can take a look at that. I'll set that there for you guys to look at on your own time. Something a little interesting. It's something about erecting antennas, tuning in, receiving, and signing off. Not sure why they sent that, but it's fun. Fun stuff. Poured silver toilet. Sounds like some expensive stuff, huh, Rand? Yep. So we also got in the card, we got their stickers... Again, uh, they sent me three of these, so, of course, right there, one of those is going into the giveaway pile. Uh, so it says here, the brighter side... I'm oh, sorry, I'm trying to read it. We invite you to the brighter, brighter side of the coin spiracy. Lady Kid Nichols and Clever Coin Name. So that is their... Uh, <laughs> that's their stickers. They also sent a thank you card, but I can't show you this card. If you know Lady Kid Nichols and Clever Coin Name... They, they tend to use some very colorful language in their stuff and maybe some stuff that might not be appropriate for all ages. I've already looked at this card. I cannot show you. 
But what I did is I had my team here at Michael Kittle Rail Coins make a photocopy of that card and go through and make some redactions. So I can read you the redacted version of the thank you card. So here we go. Till next, till next we meet on the brighter side of the coin spiracy. Kittle, I swear, and then there's some stuff there, that you give, I swear that if you give this away, and I had to block some stuff out, I will come to California and ask around until I find you, and then there's some more stuff taken around. Love, Jason, that's clever coin name. And then Lady Kid Nichols writes, to whom it may concern, but there's some blank there, Warmest greetings, then another blank, to Mr. Michael Kittle. Congratulations on your recent wins, wins from our live stream. Hope your Bacchus token finds thee well and is perhaps another... There's some more stuff blocked out. <laughs> you know I jest. Thank you sincerely for spending time in our very first live stream. Lady Kid Nichols. So that's what that's part of it that I could read to you. No, no, I kept it, kept it good. So what this is... Is they had a live stream, which was actually their first auction. I believe this is what this is. And I bought this in their first auction. It's a silver Bacchus Mardi Gras token, and I'll show this in a little more detail. And then they also sent a couple uh, extra gifts here. So this one here is Knights of Jason. It's a Mardi Gras token. Kind of cool. Mardi Gras. Fun is our golden fleece, it says. And then it's got some, like, chess tokens on the back. And this one here is like an aluminum token, it looks like. It says Mardi Gras, New Orleans, 1984. And Anheuser-Busch Famous Clydesdales. So it's got the Clydesdales on it from Anheuser-Busch. Really cool. Fun stuff. And then this is the one I want. It's in kind of a dirty capsule, so I'm going to pop this open. This one's made of silver, and it's toned. You know I like my toned stuff, so... Check out that toning, Lima. It's Bacchus, 1968. Drinking out of the glass of wine there. And on the reverse, it's dated 1982. So it's really a 1982, and it's got all kinds of stuff. Let's show this under the scope. Why not? So American Heroes and Heroines. Got all kinds of detail. There's trains, there's horses, there's lots of pretty toning. And you can just kind of see that color. Just really hard to show without, but tons of great color on this. And that's mostly why I wanted it. I just like really nice tone stuff. So check that out. Heck yeah. So thank you to Clever Coin Name and Lady Kid Nichols. That was their first auction. And, um,. It ran pretty late in the evening, very early in the morning, and I, uh, I stayed until that one was available. Michael, can I work my address in the description? Yeah, I have my address. If anybody wants to send me anything for a future episode of In the Mail, my information is in the description below. Very good. Next up, so thank you again, Clever Coin Name and Lady Kid Nichols. If you want to check out their channels, their information is also in the description below. Clever coin name. Did you did you see the redacted message I had to show? I couldn't show the actual real one, so I had my team, I, you know, redact it, and I was only able to read parts of it. So there we go. We do have just a just a preview spoiler alert for the rest of the mail we're showing. There are still two more packages from Lady Kid Nichols and Clever Coin Name coming up, and then of course we had the radio chart, which I didn't really want to go into detail on, but just something fun they threw along into the package there. Very cool. They're doubloons. I guess they're not tokens. I guess I'd call them doubloons. Is that what we got to say, lady kid? I'm sorry. I apologize. It's very nice toning. And apparently, as the note says, Kittle, I swear, and then redaction, that if you give this redaction away, I will come to California and ask around until I find you. Redaction. Love. Clever coin name. So, apparently, I can never give this away or sell this. Even though I just bought it in their first auction, I can't give it away, sell it, or anything. So, I guess that's mine for good. Next up, we have mail from Mr. Roy Driscoll. And that's a big bubble mailer here, Roy Driscoll. 
So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to pull that back off camera a little bit and uh, actually slide out what's in here. Some of you guys that follow some of the other people in the Boomba Shoots crew that Sheldon put, Paisley and Daddy show put together might know what this is. So it's, hey, I didn't know for sure what to put as a handle for you, but I think this works. Roy, Boomba Shoots crew. So what Roy Driscoll did is he had t-shirts made up for everybody that's in Sheldon's Boomba Shoots crew. And this is one he sent me, crew member Mr. Shiny Coin. That's what he likes to call me because he says I have lots of shiny coins. So this is my shirt. And then let me open it up and we'll see what the back shows. Try not to try not to knock down everything on my desk here when I open this up. And it says Boomba Shoots crew right on the back. So very cool. Thank you for that, Brother Roy. I'll definitely be wearing my Boomba Shoots crew shirt. It's a very nice high quality shirt too. I can't I'm definitely gonna wear it. I like black t shirts as well. So um everybody will be asking me who's Mr. Shiny Coin. I'll be like, I'm Mr. Shiny Coin, of course. And if you guys do not know Shell well, Roy's link for one is in the description below. Thank you, Roy. And if you guys don't know Sheldon, the Paisley and Daddy show, I'm gonna put their link right into chat right now. It's just exclamation point aloha. Let me get the shirt off of here just because that's gonna be too much to I don't want to get it all messed up piling more stuff on top of it. Go check out the Paisley and Daddy show. Every video they do, they do all kinds of mail calls. Every video they do is a giveaway video as well. So pay attention to their videos and you can have a chance to win stuff. Boomba shoots. Ab absolutely, Johnny Kilo. Absolutely. Next up, is Lima and Echo Numismatics still in the house? Because we got mail from Lima Echo Numismatics right here. So Lima here sent me a thank you card and a couple coins there that just fell out. So let's check out what we got there. Sorry about that. We got a sticker here. Check out Lima's sticker. That's just awesome, isn't it? It's got the Roanoke commemorative half dollar. And also, a lot of people don't even notice this, is the toning on the coin matches the color going around the outside. So it starts out a green color and goes into like a an orange color. Very cool sticker. Thank you for that, Lima. Number 18 out of 50, it looks like there as well. So very cool sticker. Glad to have that. Team Scent says, uh, says Lima there. So I'm going to have to just, you know, of course, do one of these. Scent. And then I got to go in and put the Team Scent emoji for Lima right there just because. So thank you for that, Lima. So Michael Kittle, Rare Coins, the items I've won from you are the outliers in my collection in a good way. I enjoy all of your streams and have learned a ton from them. Also, thanks for the support on my channel. Enclosed is my channel sticker and a wartime uh, snowman. Wartime snowman. The tape around the envelope is a buffer so the paper won't rip. Lima Echo Numismatics. Well, thank you for that. And yes, Lima did tape up the envelope very well. Thank you for that. And the coins in here, I probably should have cut this open before are a silver, or sorry, a wartime snowman. Look at that, Jaji Coin subscribed. Welcome and have fun. So what a snowman is, is when you take three coins and let's get them out of here. You can stack them together to make a snowman. So there we go. We got there a 1943 San Francisco Silver War nickel. Thank you, Lima. A 1943, uh, 1943 Lincoln scent, zinc coated steel, and we also have a 1943 Philadelphia Mercury dime. So Lima, you did not have to send me anything that was unnecessary, but I do appreciate that and we will make good use of those here on the channel. Now Lima didn't want me to make a big deal about it, of course, so I will not make a big deal that Lima is only about 10 10 or 11 subscribers away from 500, so I'm not really going to make a big deal about it or mention it. I will also not tell everybody right now, hey, if you're not subscribed to Lima right now, you should absolutely go over there right now and subscribe to Lima. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to make a big deal about it. I'm also not going to tell you that if you just type in exclamation point Lima into the chat, it brings up a direct link right to Lima's channel. Um, and I'm also not going to tell you that wouldn't it be awesome that if we just could get them to 500 right here by the end of the stream. So, very cool. Thank you again, Lima Echo Numismatics. Lima Echo's new Numismatics link is in the description below. Thank you again for that. Not going to make a big deal that very close to 500, though. That'd be kind of fun, wouldn't it? 
So thank you for that thank you card and the gifts. Very cool. Next up, we got a sticker trade from It's Suzy Q 96. Again, It's Suzy Q's link is in the description below. So there you go. Uh, you love Lima's enthusiasm for going? Yeah, exactly. That's why I like supporting Lima. Does the videos really good and um, can tell really excited about coins and it's fun stuff. And that's why I recommend that you guys go support them. So that was from Suzy Q. What we have here is we did a sticker trade. Looks like I got a couple stickers here. So I got two stickers. We'll add one to the giveaway pile. So it's Suzy Q and it's got a metal detector. It says metal detecting and coin collecting. So thank you for that, Suzy. And a nice little note card that protected the stickers. So we did a sticker trade and there it is. Perfect. Look at New Line. <laughs> New Line with the 32.38 Super Chat. Definitely not going to make a big deal of subbing to Lima Echo. <laughs> New Line, you did not have to do that, but you did. <laughs> you were not required to do that, yet you did it anyway. <laughs> All right, hopefully uh, my uh, Streamlabs picks that up and makes you the boss there. We'll see about that. Sometimes it does work, sometimes it doesn't work. There you go, look at that. You the boss. Got some Morgans dropping in. New line with a 3238 super chat. Very generous of you. Didn't have to do it. Really appreciate that. All remember all super chats, donations, PayPal, all that that you guys send does go back into the channel um, to help make uh make everything more fun. So very cool. Thank you for that. Next up we have mail from Armando from the Vault. Another sticker trade that we did a while back. And, um, and you can see how long it's been. This says June something, 2020, it's been around. So it's been a couple months, so we're catching up. Link to Armando and the Vault is in the description below. And there we go. There's Armando's sticker right there. Rand Goldner with the CZK50 through the Super Chat. To adopt one-eyed cats, take it. Well, we'll let you guys read the rest of that. Come on, Rand Goldner. <laughs> Don't make me time you out for doing super chats. I, I, it's not like that's ever been done on a stream before. Anyway, here's the sticker trade we got from Armando at the vault. I'm pretty sure I got another sticker from Armando in that found it buried thing. I don't know if it's the exact same sticker, so I won't add that one to the giveaway toy pile. But anyway, thanks Armando from the vault. Very cool. He's really easy. He is a cool guy, Steve Woods. Again, I recommend you guys check out all these channels in the description below. Well worth it. Well worth it. And I'm not again. I'm not going to make a big deal about Lima being so close to 500. But if anybody notices that Lima does get to 500, just let us know. Let me know, and I, I'll try not to big, make a big deal about that either. So next up, we have mail from Richo's Hunting Treasure down in Australia. You guys know Richo's um, likes to give away lots of silver. He's a garage sale pirate. He goes hunting around garage sales all over Australia, finding all kinds of cool stuff. And he does give away some of his treasure with his family from time to time. And their uh, pirate booty wheel of doom, where you can then take your winnings and gamble it on the pirate wheel for uh, maybe some more, or maybe you have to walk the plank. So we featured Richos in prior episodes of In the Mail, so you don't have to get too crazy about that, but... This was something I won a while back, but you guys know it takes a while to get mail from Australia sometimes. So there's Richo's Hunting Treasure sticker right there. So thank you for that. We got in here, there's some more coins that are popping out. That was just the envelope holding the coins. First, we'll read the card. Thank you from the Pirate Crew. We appreciate all your support. We love having you on our channel and in our chats. Looking forward to many more great memories. And the good laughs we to have together. See you again soon. Richo's Hunting Treasure. Very cool. Very good. Are most of Australians are the original pirates? Yeah, there's a lot of them. So it looks like here we got a piece of jewelry there. It says Pandora. This is probably something they either picked up at a garage sale or something. I think I want it as part of one of their treasure chest giveaways. So that's probably going to go to the pile that goes to my sister because I give all that stuff to her. And the coins we got here is we got a couple Australian sixpence. So I'll show you those under the scope here. This one here is a 1962. So you got the kangaroo and the emu, little silver sixpence with Queen Elizabeth. There's another silver sixpence with the same design 
but with King George. It's a little bit older. That's a 1948. And then we got a couple Australian three pences, both of them 1951. And that's that design right there. And King George. And since we got two of the 1951s, let's add one of those to the giveaway pile like we just did right there. Heck yeah. And let's keep, let's separate that a little. So we got the giveaway pile going there, some coins, some stickers ready to go. Lima is at 496, just like that. Well, very cool. Would be really cool if we could get them up to 500, but again, not going to make a big deal about it because Lima said, hey, look, you've already sent so many people over to my channel. Please don't make a big deal about it. So I'm not making a big deal about trying to get Lima to 500 here during this stream. I would not do that. I respect Lima's wishes. So I will not be making a big deal about that. I will, not, I will not talk about it too much more. I will not. I promise I won't. Orda, what's going on? What's going on? All right, next up, we got mail. You guys know these packages here. This is Sticker Mule. And Sticker Mule has deals from time to time. They make my stickers, which you can't even see it here anymore. They're kind of buried. I like to make a special sticker every now and then because part of one of my membership options there is... Uh, you get special stickers if you not not just for memberships, but if you donate to the channel. So if you donate to the channel and want any of my special stickers, I have some that are just for donors, and it's fun. So first of all, I got they send in like one of their wooden coat not wooden but uh cardboard coasters for their mule hot sauce, the hot sauce that kicks ass. Very cool, and that hot sauce is actually pretty good. I've had it. I've got it as part of their orders before. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. So they sent one of those. And you know what? I got a few of these. We'll just add that to the giveaway. It'll add some extra padding and protection when uh, that stuff goes in the mail. So the next sticker design that Michael Kittle Rare Coins came out with is a 1958 tone Franklin Half Dollar hologram sticker. So that's pretty cool. So this is another sticker that I had made up just as a way to thank people that do super chats or make donations or otherwise support the channel. Um, if people just want to do sticker trades with me and stuff, I'll send my regular sticker. I'm no problem doing that, trading with anybody. Or if people win giveaways or whatnot, but this is a really cool uh, special sticker. No, Orda, I did not make that sticker yet. Not yet. Have not done that. So very, very fun. So, yeah, I've got a pack of these now, so i got some more stickers to send uh, off. And you know what? Even though these are usually reserved only for donors and stuff like that or people that support the channel, we will add one of those to this giveaway pile. What the heck? We'll just add one there, just for fun. And my pile of mail just tipped over, so now i got to make sure I'm grabbing the right next package. Next up, we got mail from Jeff Silversmith. And, and if you guys want to order your own stickers on all my videos, there is a link to uh, Sticker Mule. If you click on that and you order stuff, you get 10 bucks off your order and I get 10 bucks off my order. They're a good, good deal. So this is from Jeff Silversmith. His link's below. He does half dollar roll hunting. He also does auctions from time to time. He did an auction a while back and he put this coin up for auction. He didn't think anybody was going to buy it, but... Michael Kittle Rare Coins went in and popped a bid in right away, so I got it. It is a 1928 Denver Standing Liberty Quarter, graded MS-64. Also certified as a good for the grade by CAC with the little green bean sticker there. Just a really nice, it's a common date, but just a really nice, you know, relatively high grade Standing Liberty Quarter. I like Standing Liberty Quarters. I usually don't have too many of them in my inventory because it's hard to find really nice ones. And when I do have nice ones, they usually sell pretty quick. So I was glad to get this from uh, Jeff Silversmith. And also I like to uh, you know, I like to support other channels I'm friends with too. So when I saw him doing an auction, I saw that in his list of stuff. And I'm like, yep, I'm going to buy it. So very good. Orda and Rand, you guys be good. You guys be good. <laughs> But I, the funniest thing I saw, and I almost couldn't quit uh, laughing, so is when a clever coin name said he was going to go into the cat channel and keep calling them Mats, M-A-T-S, and pretend like his keyboard was broken. But I just, for some reason, I just thought that was hilarious. So, just trolling the cat channel though. Onabushu says shiny. Yes, it is. Um, for the, I don't know if I'm going to do a sticker for that, Johnny Keel. I have no idea what I'm going to... i got other stickers coming up in mind. The stickers are not cheap to have made, even with their deals, so I can't do skip uh, stickers for everything. Looks like some scratches on the slab. Yeah, like when you get them 
tilted, I guess, just right or just wrong, yeah, all the stuff on the slab shows, but if you get it in a different angle, none of that stuff. So it's just the way plastic works. And I do have a video I have planned. I haven't done it yet, but I have it planned. Just showing people for photography. If you have the angle you want to show the coin, if you're trying to take a photo, if it just happens to be where all the scratches show, there are a couple tricks to where you can make none of those scratches show in your photo. Um, I know some of the professional coin photographers might not like me showing those tricks, because some, but uh, I think it'd be fun to show. And stuff that I do to make the photos look a little nicer without using Photoshop to alter the actual image of the coin. So, very good. So, Rand, I think it's, it's okay. I don't know what that is. Listen well. How you doing? Mark, thanks for coming in. Good afternoon. We're just going through some mail, doing shout outs for some channels. All the channels here that we've shown here, again, and the ones still to come, are in the description below. Hopefully, you guys show some support to them because obviously they're supporting me. And if you want to be able to get mail calls and win stuff and stuff like this, you can go to their channels and it's not that hard. And again, right here, we got a little pile of stuff, some stickers and coins that we've been pulling out of the duplicates from the mail call. This will be, we'll do a giveaway of all this, whatever's in this pile, plus this 1958 Franklin half dollar toward the end. So if you want to have a chance to win that giveaway, just stick around. We're probably about halfway through the mail call. Just about halfway through. So again, that was from Jeff Silversmith. Thank you very much for doing that auction. And uh, very, very cool. Orta thinks that the cats are on experiment. I don't know about that. There are some wobbly cats over there, aren't there, Orta? There sure are. Um, but you guys have your... Uh, Ida Herring, you should be getting mail any day now. I did send you... I think I actually sent you four stickers plus a couple of coins. So Ida Herring's... She's putting together a quilt for uh, in, uh, for um, the next uh, auction to raise money for breast cancer research. I think that's not going to be until about March or so. So she's been asking channels to send in stickers. I did send her stickers. I sent her two of my Michael Kittle Rare Coin stickers. And then I also sent her two of my Kittle Got Game tractor tire stickers, which is this one right here. I don't know if she'll use them on the quilt, but I'm trying to sneak it on there. So I sent her two, two of each sticker. And you know what? While we got this out, Kittle Got Game, let's add one of those to the giveaway pile. How about that? That's my other channel. Type in exclamation point game if you're not a subscriber over there. It's one of my childhood dreams if you guys would join, you would sign them up to my gaming channel and watch me play video games. Because it's one of my childhood dreams to have a thousand subscribers on YouTube on a gaming channel so that I can sit back in my Lazy Boy, play PlayStation, and be monetized and get paid to do so. Isn't that just the American dream of all of all boys these days? I think so. So we'll add one of those. So I sent Ida Herring uh, two of each of those stickers, and I also sent her, um, I think I sent her a couple of dimes or just a couple of coins to add because she's putting together a big giveaway as part of it as well. So thank you for doing that, Ida. And I'm, I think we're all going to get a, I think we'll all, all get a ton more information about that as it, that event gets closer. But Ida does a lot of good work on those. And, um, so thank you, Miss Ida, for that. Next up in the mail call is another package from the brighter side of the coin spiracy, Lady Kid Nichols and Clever Coin Name. Again, they like to put stickers. But today, I guess they had the Super Mario Brothers or Super Mario Brothers uh, stickers out. We got some Mario Luigi. And we got the Yoshi and a pipe and a question block. Any stickers on the other side? No, they don't need to show that. So let's see what Lady Kid Nichols and Clever Coin Names sent us this time. Looks like some different stickers, some more doubloons. And what this was is they had another stream going on. I'll put the padded envelope to the side because that's going to be in the way. Um, Got to go. Thanks for doing it. Oh, thanks, Steve Woods. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, missing out on some good stuff if you're not watching 3 a.m. farming, right? Yeah. <laughs> so what, what they sent this time, well, I guess... First of all, I think we should probably go to the note, right? We should probably go to the note. Well, once again, they did send the note. And did I leave the note out? Hold on, what do we got going on here? No, right here is the thank you they sent us. Let me make sure this is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't show you their thank you card again. I can't do it. There's just too much. And, uh, I mean, I, I don't even want you pausing and looking through the paper like that. No, 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 no. 
I can't show you what Lady Kid Nichols and Clever Coin Name wrote. It's just not appropriate for my channel. I'm sorry about that. I do appreciate the kind thoughts in here, Lady Kid Nichols and Clever Coin Name, but I just can't show this on my channel, and you guys know why. But once again, I did have my team at Michael Kittle Rare Coins photocopy and go through line by line and make some redactions so that I can share with you guys what they wrote. Again, I'm sorry for the quality when you make copies and redactions. Sometimes the quality decreases, but I'll read it to you. Kittle Cat, we are determined to not let you have a note from us that you can show, blank. So please enjoy your winnings, blank. You are a great friend and joy to have on our channel, blank. We both love visiting you on yours, blank. I, blank. Wanted to thank you for the opportunity to be a moderator on Kittle Got Game, and then a big blank. I don't take it lightly and hope to prove myself as an asset. Blank, your friend, blank, clever coin name. And then P.S., and then I had to redact that. They did, clever, do a nice little smiley face emoji, and then I had to put a blank next to that because I can't see all of it. And then Lady Kid Nichols shared with us, I hope this note has reached you well. If for some reason it was delayed, well, blank you and take it anyway. <laughs> Okay, LOL, she writes. You're awesome. I hope you know we both adore you and think you rock. Lady Kid Nichols, blank, and then there's a couple, there were a couple stickers at the bottom. So I could almost read all of their message, but that was from Lady Kid Nichols and Clever Coin Name. I won a giveaway on their channel, so we got a few more Mardi Gras doubloons. I said tokens before. And these are from Pandora, it looks like. This one here has... Well, I don't know. Let's take a closer look at what's going on here. It just seems like a lady that's wearing some clothes. Well, I think she's just wearing her hair. And there's a guy there, and there's, like, Pandora's box. So I believe that's what's going on, Pandora's box. So and it's a nice blue, anodized blue aluminum token. Very cool. That's from 1993, Pandora. There's this one here. It says Columbus, 1970. So this is an old crew of Columbus, Mobile, Alabama. And it's got the Penta from 1492 on it. Really cool. Hey, Kanan, what's going on? What is going on? Redacted that. Yeah, I couldn't show the original. The original, I mean, just wouldn't be appropriate. So I had to have my team at Michael Kittle Rare Coins make sure it was a uh, PG-13 or lower. Here's this one from the crew of Caesar Mardi Gras. And that's from uh, Metairie, Louisiana. And this one's dated 2008. Just some pretty cool Mardi Gras doubloons. Also, we got stickers. Looks like they got some new ones. This is a hologram sticker. It says again, welcome to the brighter side of the coin spiracy with Lady Kid Nichols and Clever Coin Name. And there's a regular one and a hologram one, so I'll be keeping those, adding those to my sticker collection. This one here is a fun one. I guess uh, usually people, when they do a two-by-two two holder, they mark, you know, the date, the country, the grade, maybe a value, things like that, right? Maybe even write the mintage. Well, what Clever Coin Name did on this flip two by two it says you're smart i don't feel like filling out the info on this flip it's pretty and my thank you gift to you take nice picture of it so hey i didn't feel like putting the information on it so there we go thanks clever coin name awesome <laughs> so what this coin is it looks like it's gold but it's not this is a 20 centavos from honduras 1952 really cool design 1952, 20 centavos. It says 0.900. That means it's 0.900 silver. It's 90% silver. And what this is, is the silver coin that was actually, I believe, minted by the U.S. Mint for Honduras. And I think it's just about the size of our dime. It might even be on an actual U.S. dime planchet. So we made these for Honduras, and it looks like somebody gold-plated it is what happened. So it's a really cool coin. I might have to put it in a different flip to put the information on it, but I just might save this flip just because it's fun. Why not? And then also, as part of the giveaway they did on their channel, I want a few coins in this baggie here. This is a 1970 crew of Drachma, or crew of Zeus, official Drachma from Metairie. She puts on there pewter or oxidized silver, so I guess she doesn't know what it's made of, so I might have to do some research on this. It would be nice if it's uh, silver, but I'm not sure about that. And on the back it says Midnight in Toyland. Just they, they got some fun designs on these. 
Got the moon, clocks, some creepy, crazy, scary looking doll. And then a horse and then a jack in the box. So I'd be surprised if it was silver, but I guess I'll do a little research on it and see if I can figure it out. Crew of Zeus. So thank you for that. And then the other coin they sent is a 1905 Barber Quarter. I guess I won that as part of our giveaway. And I will take this opportunity to show you a bad example of staples. So I'm going to try to get this in the... You can kind of see... Let's try to... Let's get a piece of paper up here. You can see the staples like sticking out on the back here. Hopefully you can see that. That's bad. Those... that What that is... And right there, there's one that's like sticking out. That's how other coins get staple scratches. If you put a bunch of 2x2s two two like this... So we have a cure for this. A, you could go painstakingly clamp each one of these down with a set of pliers, one by one. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. What you want to do is you want to go get the Max brand flat clinch stapler. And I'll just show you an example right here next to this one. It works for regular staples. You get a nice flat staple. Perfect. Won't scratch coins. And you can find that on my Amazon link. Exclamation point Amazon. And if you buy one of them, they're like a $15 stapler or so. You should throw away all of your other staplers if you're a coin collector. And if you buy one of those, I think I get about $0.80 cents as a referral fee. So it doesn't cost you any extra. Look at those staples. Shame, shame on Clever and Lady Kid Nichols for stapling it like that. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to add that to our giveaway because I don't even want that around scratching my other coins. So we'll have the barber quarter to the giveaway. I don't even want that around, but thank you for that. So Kanan's in here saying he's going to be as X-rated as he wants. Yes, you can do so on your channel, Kanan. Absolutely, and you do. And you asked if I got any stickers recently that I can't show on my stream. Um, I haven't. Not. I mean, unless, like I said, I, haven't, I don't go to my mailbox every day, but not in a lot. I haven't checked maybe in the last few days, so if it's something that came to me recently, um, I maybe it's probably sitting in my mailbox, but no, I haven't... Uh, I haven't, not that I can, not that I can think of, no. Not, not that I remember getting, so. All right, that was from Lady Kid Nichols' Clever Coin Name. Their links are in the description below. Next up is Paisley and Daddy's show, flexing on some coins, Boom and Shoots Crew. We did show the uh, shirt we got from Brother Roy there, Paisley and Daddy, our Boom and Shoots Crew shirt, so. Might have missed that. And that's Paisley and Daddy show. Exclamation point Aloha gets you information on his channel. But next up, we got mail from Silver Gopher. Right here. Hey, Michael, thanks for doing this sticker trade. Your sticker's going to look great on my sticker wall. Really enjoy all the great coins and highlights that you highlight on your videos. Take care and stay safe. Silver Gopher. So really cool card for one. And then we got a Silver Gopher sticker. Join the Silver Underground. Silver Gopher's link in the description below if you want to join in and check out Silver Gopher and maybe do a sticker trade of your own with them. So thank you for that, Silver Gopher. We'll add that to the sticker collection for sure. Uh, just keep, just asking, just keep looking. All right, I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> Improper stapling, stop it, says Onabushu. Absolutely, absolutely. Nightbot just reminded us that if you know any young collectors out there that need a copy of the Red Book, that maybe can't afford their own, maybe their parents are mean and won't buy them a copy of the Red Book, uh, or maybe you're that parent that's mean and won't buy your kid a copy of the Red Book. So if you know any young collectors under 18 that need a Red Book or that you think might be interested in coin collecting that a Red Book would do them some good, let me know. Um, I have some people that donate Red Books or that I buy them cheap from, and I have some other people that help cover the postage as donations, um, I'll send them a red book. Now, don't take advantage of it. Don't be like some 55-year-old dude that's just not wanting to spend 10 bucks on a red book taking advantage of my free red books. But So it's honor system, kids only. <laughs> oh, okay, Kanan. I'm, I'm interested in that. I'll, I'll have to take a look at that. I'll, hopefully that comes in the mail then soon. <laughs> Next up, we got mail from Linda Wallace. Miss Linda Wallace. And lots of stamps there. And you guys know Linda Wallace. She does a lot of uh, cool uh, coin jewelry for your giveaways from Linda Wallace. So what did she send me? She sent us some of her coin necklaces. So these necklaces she makes up and then donates them to various channels. And I'm really happy that she sent me a few of them. 
So what they are is, you know, chain with a bezel, and this one is a bicentennial Kennedy half dollar. She does not sell these. The only way you can ever get one of these is to win one on another channel. So very cool. What about Kids at Heart? Kids at Heart can get a red book from me, Onabushu, if they send me money and buy it from me and pay the shipping. Here's another bicentennial Kennedy half necklace that she sent. And then the last one she sent here is an Ike dollar bicentennial. 1776-1976. So very cool, Linda Wallace. Now, I can't keep these. She says they're for my giveaways. So why not? Let's just start right now. We have a giveaway going right now. We'll add one of the bicentennial half dollar Linda Wallace necklaces that you can only get by winning them in a giveaway. You can't buy these from her. One of those is added to our giveaway today. So very, very good. What's Rand starting here now? Is Rand telling Condon to go over to the Cat 24-7 stream and cause some issues? <laughs> like Rand does? No, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, is the giveaway for this stream? Yes, that's a lot of sodium coins. Everything I'm adding to this pile right here, plus this 1958 Franklin half dollar, is going to be given away towards the end of the stream. Towards the end of the stream, so... That is what we're going to be doing. So that was Linda Wallace. You can check out her link to her channel down below. I don't know if she really has too much content there, but figure why not let's support her anyway in case she does start putting some content out. But again, she sends those out to other channels. The only way you can get one is to win one of those. Speaking of winning stuff, I got mail here from Storm in California, Storm in Norman. What he did is uh, he does half dollar roll searching. He does like wheels of craziness on his channel and whatnot. And he had a donator giveaway to where all the donators for his half dollars get up on the wheel and then he goes, keeps spinning it. And if you get landed on, you're eliminated and the last person standing wins the prize. Well, I didn't buy any half dollars for his channel, but another donator on his channel did buy some spots and then donated spots to other people. I think it was Telephone Guy that did it. And I happened to get a spot on his wheel it was probably, I don't know, 20, 30 people on the wheel, and he kept spinning it, and people got getting eliminated, and somehow I ended up as the last man standing, and I won a coin here. This was July 20th, anniversary of the moon landing, and um, it's a Morgan Silver Dollar that I won. So, 1880 Morgan Silver Dollar that I got on the donator wheel on Storm and CA's channel, where I didn't even donate. So I got lucky to win a spot, and then lucky to win the whole darn thing. So... Fun stuff. I'll be flexing on this one. Right, Sheldon? Heck yeah. Giveaway is the only reason you're here. Yep, absolutely, Condon. That's why, I mean, what, we got 23 people or something watching. That's the only reason they're here. I know. I know. Um, <laughs> so thank you again for that, Storm and Norman. And then thanks, I believe it was Telephone Guy that got my spot in that giveaway. So very cool. <laughs> I did not <laughs> did not win the crown um, it, from another channel, I won crowns on Fall Guys on my game channel in Abushu. Correct, correct. All right, next up, we have mail from Gina R. And Gina R has a link in the description below to her channel. You guys should definitely check that out. And me and Gina R, or I guess I should say Gina R and I, did a sticker trade. So we got a thank you card. Thank you you for supporting my channel i appreciate it thanks gina r and gina r is a supporter of my channel as well we thank you for that and gina r has some pretty cool stickers so there you go gina r ag47 and if you guys remember anything from your chemistry classes in school ag is the symbol on the periodic table for silver ag silver so we got that one she's got three different stickers here we got this one here and we got this one here. Gina R. loves silver, apparently. So you guys should definitely check out Gina R. We thank her for the sticker trade, and we're just adding it to our pile of stuff there. We did another sticker trade with another channel, and that's Kelly Crawford 01. Again, all the links to all the channels in the description below, for sure. So definitely check that out if you want to do a sticker trade. Kelly Crawford's up in Canada, eh? And we did the sticker trade, but the mail still cooperated. didn't take too long. Well, Kelly Crawford even put a sticker right there on the outside of the envelope, one of her channel stickers, which is kind of fun. And then you, if you guys want to see a Canadian stamp, there you go. Very cool. 
And what do we what do we got here? We got Michael Kittle Rare Coins. I hope you're doing well. Stay safe. Here are my channel stickers. Thank you for the channel support. Kelly Crawford 01. And again, another one of her. I guess she got these little small holographic ones that are pretty awesome. And then this is just a larger version of it right there. Kelly Crawford 01, believe in yourself, it says. And it's got, I don't know if that's a goat or a ram. I think it's a goat. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then this one here is another holographic one with, looks like a fairy sitting on top of a skull. Pretty sweet. Eddie wants to know when I'm going to do another foreign coin auction. I don't know, Eddie. I don't know. I guess it just depends on when I'm going to be able to get the um, the coins. I mean, I, that's I kind of just wing it on this channel. Like, if I get a good deal, then I'll do a video about it and try to pass it along. Just like the Swiss silver coins. I got that big hoard of Swiss silver coins. And I'll even type in exclamation point Swiss if you guys want to take a look at that because I still have some of those available and I haven't increased the prices of those. I still have some of that good deal available if anybody wants to get in on it. Um, yeah, just if I'm able to get it. I mean, I'll reach out to the where I got those and see if I can get some more, of course. But yeah, I just never know. And then uh, Sparkle Flare is also putting Lima's link in there. Again, I'm not making a big deal about it, but Lima Echo Numismatics, who does really good videos on coins and a good supporter of many of our channels is apparently three people away from 500 subscribers which is like a pretty big deal so i'm not going to make a big deal about it but wouldn't it be cool if uh lima got up to uh 500 subscribers i'm not gonna make a big deal about it next up we got mail from rick g profit coins you guys might remember about a month ago rick g profit coins had a really big giveaway um did a 1844 new orleans five dollar liberty gold coin with a bunch of channels including myself um, tons of runner-up prizes as well, and I actually won one of the runner-up prizes. I was picked by JW Coins and Hobbies and ended up winning a prize that was donated by a coin hunting couple. Some people didn't really like the fact that, oh yeah, I was part of the giveaway and I actually won one of the prizes, but you know what? Those people can go uh, do their own giveaway, right? They can lose the address and do their own giveaways because um, that's part of the deal. When you get, Especially when you do a big giveaway... If you tell the channels that you're asking to participate in it, oh yeah, I want you to be part of this giveaway where we're going to give away some crazy gold coin, but you can't participate in it. But you can pay to be part of it, you can donate stuff to it and all this and put out video and do the work for it, but you don't have no chance of winning the prize. How about that? Well, you're going to have a lot of channels saying, screw that, I'd rather, I'd rather not be part of the giveaway and have a chance to win the big prize. So it's just, now, it, and you know what? There are multi-channel giveaways where they say up front, none of the channels have a chance to win anything. And that's part of the rules. But it was all clear up front. You can't win your own uh, comment video. That's clear. That would be unfair. But anyway, JW did a video. I was picked as the winner on his video, fair and square. And uh, I won the prize that was sent in by Coin Hunting Couple. And it's a 2016 Silver Britannia. So I'm pretty happy I won that. Even if a couple people were a little butthurt about it. Oh, well. Uh, do I have any silver Czechoslovakia pre-1940? I don't know, Rand. I'd really have to look. I don't can't think of any offhand. Can't think of any offhand. I don't know. Looks like a couple people subscribed to Lima. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice, so appreciate that. And then I also got some stickers. This one here is from Rick G. Profit Coins, one of his stickers. Pretty cool. Nice hologram. Got a bunch from Coin Hunting Couple here. They got a bunch of different stickers. All these are Coin Hunting Couple stickers. Check them out for sure. We got a Treasure Turd sticker as part of it. Nice hologram Treasure Turd. That's a fun one. And then, of course, another Coin Hunting Couple. So, again, Rick G., thanks for putting on that big giveaway. And uh, Coin Hunting Couple and JW for being a part of it, too. And I guess for me getting lucky. And, you know, you guys know me. What am I going to end up doing with this? I'm going to end up giving it away at some point probably anyway, so... Not right now, though. Not right now. Let's see. What else we got there? Woohoo! Lima is at four ninety nine. Just needs one more. What the heck? You guys are crazy. Crazy cool, that is. Next up, we got mail from Karsten Hunts Silver. So right there, and it, this has came all the way from Germany, right in the middle of the China flu pandemic. So very cool that this made it. Sometimes we're having trouble getting mail from overseas. Right there, we got a stamp from Germany there. It looks like it's 110 Deutschland. 
might be what 110 euro cents or 110 something but anyway pretty cool to see stamps from around the world priority priority luft post luft post very cool so anyway karsten hunts silver sends a thank you card and it says in here finally i got my own channel sticker i want to say thank you that you sent me your stickers long time ago I really appreciate the support of my channel, your German friend, Karsten. And Karsten Hunt Silver does have his own channel sticker now. And check that out. Little funny baby monkey. Very, very cool. Heck yeah. <laughs> so that Luf Luf post means air post. I'm guessing it was something like that. Yep. Very cool. So Karsten's got a cool sticker. So if, you're, if you guys like Karsten Hunt Silver, or if you want one of these stickers and do a sticker trade with them, Check him out. Check out his channel. The link to Karsten Hunt Silver in the description below, just like all the other channels we're talking about here today. Always hunting English, Irish, and Canadian silver. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm going to try to do... I, I, I had fun going through all those world coins, even though it took forever to go through all of them. I had fun going through them and hope to do something like that again in the future. Absolutely. Next up, and there's not tons left. I think we'll actually be done in the next, you know, I don't know, 15, 20, 30 minutes. So we'll be able to be done before coin, uh, Coins for Amateurs starts their hunt. So I wanted to make sure I didn't scream right on top of them if we didn't have to. And uh, Kanan, got to go later, people. Well, hey, thanks for popping in there and have a good one, man. Next up, we got another package from the Sticker Mule. They keep sending me deals. And I keep falling for it. I keep falling for their deals, and I keep ordering more stickers. So what we did here, and they always keep sending gifts here, so we'll get rid of this bubble mailer because that's going to be in our way. We already added one of the Mule Sauce coasters. We didn't add one of these. We'll add a Sticker Mule sticker and one of their Mule stickers to the giveaway. We'll have a nice little pile going. So the next sticker I ordered is this one right here. The Michael Kittle Rare Coins Toned Lincoln Wheat Scent. Very cool. Couldn't help myself. And this one, I got this one in particular because I have, coming soon, I know I keep talking about it, coming soon is going to be a 10,000 wheat cent bag break. I got 10,000 wheat cents in a couple bags here. And we're going to be going through them. I'm going to be selling spots. Each person will get 500 wheat cents, whatever we get. And some of them might be really good. Some of them might be really bad. I have no idea. They're sealed bags of wheat cents. And part of it is the people that participate in that will get a special sticker. So I, that's why I ordered these. Haven't even un opened these up. Nobody else has these. That's the way they're going to be given out. And I thought it was fun. And it's a pretty cool. And this coin is actually a coin that's on my website. It's a 1912 Matt Proof Lincoln scent that I think was graded Proof 65 Red Brown. Really cool. Really cool. It was very cherry coin for sure. So that's my next sticker. And what is this going on? New Line is reporting to everybody that Lima hit 500. No way. No way. I'm going to have to click on this link. Open a new tab because if I click on the link, I might shut my stream out. It says Lincoln Echo Numismatics is at 500 subscribers. Well, I th I'm a little nervous about that because you know how YouTube works and one person by the end of the stream might get a little butt hurt that they don't win the giveaway or something. They might unsub. So let's try to at least get them to 501. I know I'm, I know I'm up in the raising the bar a little bit, but let's try to get it up to 501. And then maybe I know there's another package coming up here. Maybe if we're clear that he's at 501 and that the 500 is going to be there, then maybe we'll add even something extra to the giveaway. How about that? That is a lot of Wheaties. Yes. How much will the spots be? I don't know, Sodium. So my plan is, and I plan to do a video announcing it soon. I know I keep saying that. But I plan to do it soon. So what we're going to do is last time I did a, a break of 5,000 wheat cents, I sold spots of 500 cents each for 50 bucks. And that included the shipping. And they sold out like immediately. And I had a bunch of other people like wanting to get spots, especially after they saw the coins that we got, especially after they saw like one person got a 1909S Lincoln, one person got a 1864L Indian cent that's worth over 100 bucks. Everybody wanted spots at 50 bucks, and I already had a bunch of people telling me they'd gladly pay for the next one and buy multiple spots. Well, I want as many people to participate as possible, so it's going to be one spot per person. And what we're going to do is we're going to auction off the spots. And the way that's going to work is 
If you want a spot, you're going to have to send me an email and tell me the most you're willing to pay. Now, I know that doesn't sound right, and it sounds like you could get taken advantage of, but you just got to trust me. So what's going to happen is if Sheldon says, I'll buy a spot for 75 bucks, and if you say, well, I'll only pay 55 bucks, and Silver Nitrate says, I'll pay 112 bucks, whatever, I'm going to just list everybody's bit, you know, and from highest to lowest, and the top 20 people, or top maybe 18, I haven't figured out how many I'm going to do that way, because I know I'm going to give at least one spot away, because that'll be fun. We're just going to list them all from highest to lowest, the top however many people are going to get spots, but you're not going to have to pay your max bid. You're going to have to pay the amount of the person with the 20th highest bid, for example. So if the 20th highest bid ends up being 58 bucks, even the people that bid 90 or 100 or 75, they'll all just pay the 58 bucks. I think that's a fair way to do it. And but if the highest but if the 20th highest bid is $80, then everybody has to pay 80. Now if the price goes high enough to where I think I'm making too much money on this, we'll just add a bunch more giveaways and make it much more fun. There might be some Indian heads in there, Eddie, I don't know for sure. If you guys look, if you look back on my channel, just search the 5000 uh um, wheat scent bag break and you'll I have the first comment in there is a link to all the cool finds they're timestamp links there's a ton of cool stuff if there's a tie for the last qualifying bid um, I haven't figured that out on a bushu everybody bid a dollar no the minimum bid is going to be $50 it's going to be the same as last time even though I'm adding more to it this time not only are you going to be getting a cool sticker but I think I I, I got to confirm I'm not, I haven't done the video to announce it yet um, I'm also going to be including some Whitman folders for Lincoln scent so then you can actually fill up folders with your with your 500 cents so there'll be actually some extras there too so that'll be coming out soon i hope to be able to do that in the next couple weeks to announce it and then do the bag break maybe a week or two after that so it's coming soon it really is this time i promise i think it'll be fun so what i what, I, what i'm thinking about doing i'm just thinking out loud right now i haven't decided i think i might give away 16 or 17 spots not give away but sell 16 or 17 of the 20 spots through that you know, sealed bid auction where you pay like the 17th highest price each person would pay. And then maybe I'll have one or two spots left over at the end that next time I do like a regular auction, all the people will know then how much everybody else paid. But it's like, hey, look, there's two spots left and just do a regular auction for that. So maybe they'll have to pay a little more. Maybe they'll have to pay less. But it'll be kind of like a second chance to get in on it for those people that didn't bid high enough. And then the 20th spot, the last spot, I'll just give away during that stream. So, anyway, we got another package from Miss Linda Wallace. And here's a... That was, this one's a little heavier than the last one. Michael, here are some of my necklaces for giveaways. So, it looks like she sent me some more of her necklaces for giveaways. Again, we already have one of the Linda Wallace necklaces. It's a bicentennial Kennedy half dollar in on the giveaway. She makes these just for fun. She sends them to different channels for them to give away. And uh, that's the only way you can get them. You can't buy these from Linda Wallace. She does not sell them. So it looks like we got some baggies here of some more uh, Linda Wallace necklaces. So let's uh, try to get into this. Let's see what she sent this time. And they're just wrapped up. Maybe I won't go open up every single one of these on the stream because it's going to take a little bit of time to get through all these. They're all in this tissue paper here. But it looks like there's another bicentennial and it looks like those are all half dollars and i'm guessing these two here are the ike dollars because these look bigger let's look at one of the ike dollars another really yeah linda wallace does a lot of good lot supports a lot of channels that she likes and you know like i've mentioned before different people support channels in different ways some people send super chats some people join the channel memberships again if you you see i got channel memberships here if you join that i do appreciate that and i appreciate the support you can use fun emojis like I'm going to put in right now. I, I think that's fun. That's the way some people support. Some people just send a PayPal every now and then. Some people send in coins. Linda, some people don't want to, can't spend any money because it's just, you know, they, their budgets don't allow for it. So they'll, um, they'll just make sure they watch all your content. And then when the ads pop up, they click on ads because that supports the channels. Others with the Amazon link that you just saw Nightbot put up, they, um, they buy things, if they're going to buy things on Amazon anyway, you click my Amazon link first and then go buy your stuff on Amazon. And then I get a small percentage of what you buy on Amazon. I don't know who buys what and I don't know who did it. I just, and it doesn't cost you any extra, but that's another way you can support channels. So everybody supports channels in ways that they can and they think is appropriate. And I do the same for other channels. And this is the way Linda does it. She makes these necklaces and sends them out 
for other channels to give away. So that's really cool. So I thank you for that, Linda. Awesome. And I will give these away for others. And speaking of uh, people that send stuff in to do giveaways, let me uh, reach over here for a second. There was another channel last episode, or maybe two episodes ago, Art from the RPM group has lapel pins that he made for his channel. I just remembered this. And I got a few of those I need to give away. So that's this one right here, the 1960 RPM group. It has the D over D. We'll show this quick under the... We've got 1960, and it's a D over D repunched mint mark on a lapel pin. This is the first version that he's made. I think he's going to make multiple different pins with different dates and different repunched mint marks. And uh, we'll add one of those gold-plated, uh, gold-colored 1960 D over D's to the giveaway. And I also have another version of that. I think it's in copper that he sent in. That's it right here. We'll add a copper one as well. I do not have a cat shelter emoji yet, uh, Rand, not yet. So we'll also add one of the copper 1960 D over D pins to the giveaway. Because I know Art sent a bunch of those in. Just like Linda sends things to channel, Art uh, from RPM Group sent those to a few channels for them to give away. So we're going to do that. Very, very cool. Lots of good uh, supportive people. Yeah, exactly. Um, and that's why I like to put the links to everybody below in the cha in the description below, just so people can go check out these channels themselves and maybe support them in their own ways or thank them for supporting the channels here. So, all right, next up from Lima Echo Numismatics. Hey, how many subscribers does Lima Echo Numismatics have? Anybody know? Anybody know, by the way? Because I got more mail from Lima here, and it's taped to the inside of this envelope, so I'm just totally destroying the envelope. I don't save envelopes. It's going to go into... I was going to say garbage, but Lima might be listening, so i got to say it's going to go into the recycling, because Lima tends to like to recycle. Not anything wrong with that that I'll mention right here right now. And I'm going to try to get this flip open here. Hold on. It's taped like crazy. Tape is good, though. Tape is good. We like lots of tape. Tape protects coins. And I'm having trouble with this one. Oh, because there's more tape on it that I can't even see. Lima is really at 501. Wow. Okay, so that's going to be interesting. And the timing of Lima getting a 501 is pretty cool because we're on Lima's coin right here. Finally getting it out of here. All right, Lima, good job taping it up. So what this is, Michael Kittle, we ran out of thank you cards. Thank you for the great stream and the great giveaways. I love the items I purchased. So this was from a world coin sale that I did. It was really just going through a bag of world coins. And Lima ended up, and then if people liked any of them, I'd say, hey, anybody want to buy this? And people would throw out offers, and I'd either take it, or I'd say no. Or if there two people wanted it, then we'd have a quick auction. So Lima bought a few things there. And then at the end, I said, hey, if anybody wants to trade things, or can't, you know, I'll take trades. So Lima said, hey, here's my total for the auction. If possible, I'd like to trade. Would you take a 2019 W quarter in trade? I'm like, yeah, that sounds like a really fair deal. So Lima sent me this, and I sent Lima the coins that he won. So there we go. I got a 2019 W Lowell quarter. And there's and ran the thank you cards. And then I think this was interesting. It says peelable up here. And then the back, it says peelable. Okay, so I can peel this. I was expecting, like, some kind of secret message behind there. No, yeah, nothing. just says peelable. I guess so I, then I can take my note and, like, stick it to something, maybe. I don't know. So, very cool. And since you guys got Lima up to 501 subscribers, I think maybe. Does anybody think we should add a W Mint Lull quarter to a giveaway, maybe? I don't know. Just as a... Even though I traded a bunch of auction stuff. Look at that W. Yeah, I think we should add that to the giveaway pile. What the heck? Let's get these lapel pins to the side because they stick up too much. We'll add the W quarter there. So easy come, easy go right there with that W quarter. I just got it. We're going to add right there. So can't wait till you do that again next time. We'll, yeah, Eddie, I mean, I thought it was fun. I, again, and it, we were just kind of lucky, too, that there was so much cool stuff. I didn't know what was in there until we did it. So the next time I get a bunch of silver, like world silver, it might be a bunch of common garbage. I don't know. But hopefully it won't be. So, nice way to troll <laughs> Come on, Rand. Maybe. You never know. Never know. All right. Thank you again, Lima, for doing that trade. I'm glad you like your auction winnings. And uh, congrats on getting up to 500 today. Next up, we got a sticker trade from Fox Run Forge. We'll quickly uh, pop into this. 
And there we go. We got two stickers from Fox Run Forge. You know we got two of them, so we'll add one to the giveaway pile. And there it is. It's got a cross, some doves, and it says, Be Blessed, Fox Run Forge. So thank you very much for that, Fox Run. I do appreciate that. Awesome. And Fox Run Forge's link is in the description below. If anybody wants to check out Fox's channel, maybe do some trades of their own and whatnot. And we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. We're getting to it. We're getting to it. Next up, we have mail from T-Wolf. Got a pretty cool stamps.com, bald eagle, custom printed stamp there. Very, very nice. Got a little T-Wolf sticker on the back of the envelope, too, which is fun. And it's a thank you card. And it says, thank you for being part of the coin community. Here's one of my new channel stickers for you. Sincerely, T-Wolf. Awesome. Thank you for sending me one of these. And these stickers are awesome. It's got the wolf there for T-Wolf Coin Hunter. Nice silver sticker with the hologram effect. Awesome. OG22 right there. YouTube. Very nice sticker. Thank you for sending me that, T-Wolf. T-Wolf's information, description below if you want to check out the T-Wolf Coin Hunter channel, which I recommend you do. Nightbot there just reminded us that the next meeting of the Glendale Coin Club will be here on my channel Friday, September 11th, 2020 at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. All are welcome. And all of you are indeed welcome. So... Hopefully some of you guys can visit us for the next meeting of the Glendale Coin Club. Now this next one here is another, uh, I guess it's sort of a trade. You guys know that you know, I just showed Lima. We did the World Silver Coin Auction Sale. And I told people, hey, if you have stuff you'd rather trade instead of sending me cash, I'll consider trade proposals. Just send me an email. Well, another channel did that too. And that channel is Party Pickle. Party Pickle bought a bunch of stuff in that sale and says, hey, i got some stuff I'll trade you. Will you take it? So Party Pickle sent me this huge envelope here, and what's in here are a bunch of quarters. And I'm going to try to get these out here without destroying, like, the stickers and stuff underneath. It's a bunch of silver quarters. I thought, like he said, I have this many silver quarters. Would you take this many silver 90% Washington quarters in trade? I expected maybe just to get quarters in a nice little roll or something, right? I didn't expect they'd all be an individual two-by-twos and in a big envelope like that. But, hey, I'll take it. Nothing wrong with that. So we got a bunch of 90% silver quarters there from the Party Pickle, which is pretty cool. And then two of them in a little baggie as well. So, yeah, what the heck. And since we got so many of these quarters, let's take one of these. What's, a, what's one that looks like I got duplicates of here? Looks like right here there's two 1954s. Let's add one of the 1954s to the giveaway. What the heck? So that giveaway piles just keeps growing and growing there, doesn't it? Young numismatist dollars. Cool, I'll join. Helps me get dollars for sure. Okay, very cool, Sodium. Very cool. Yeah, the holographic stickers are pretty cool, aren't they? They are really cool. They're ready to be put away or ready to be given away, I guess. They're all set to go. And even though Party Pickle apparently does not have a flat clinch stapler. So once again, I recommend getting a flat clinch stapler. Not only does it protect coins, but I'm just going to show you another example. Right here, we take five together. And look at the gaps there. You can't even put them flush against each other. But if you had the flat clinch stapler, you can store so many more coins in one box because the staples aren't creating the gaps between the two by twos. Just there's so many reasons to get the Max Brand flat clinch stapler. Not only because if you buy them from my Amazon link, you get you give me like I don't know like sixty cents or eighty cents whatever I get, but um, it's worth it. It's worth it. Did I say the full date? The fifty four quarter nineteen. It's nineteen fifty four. Yeah, you got to say the full date. Otherwise, it doesn't count. Speaking of Party Pickle. I do have another link for Party Pickle in the description below, and I'll actually post that in the chat just so you guys can quickly get to it. That's a link to Amazon right there. Party Pickle has his own t-shirt, and once I found out Party Pickle has his own t-shirt, it's being sold through Amazon, I had to get it. I had to get it. So this is the Party Pickle t-shirt, and what it does is it says, you can't have a party without a pickle. 
and it's got a pickle on there holding a brewski and a flag saying hick hick so party pickle has a t-shirt if you want a part in a cut and you can pick different colors I picked uh, navy blue it looks more like a royal blue instead of a navy blue I don't know but meh maybe it's it's not quite navy it's just a medium blue it's not quite royal either but can't have a party without a pickle I did get the pickle t-shirt if you guys want a pickle t-shirt there's the link to Amazon and I'm sure you could get one very cool is that decal pretty thick which one are we talking about on the t-shirt you mean which one are we talking about on this t-shirt um no it, it actually feels like a really nicely done t-shirt it's not like I mean it it moves around it's it's on there pretty good I think it'll hold up it's it's the nicely printed t-shirt if that's what you're talking it's not like some crappy like really odd iron on that's gonna like look like a big circle on your chest or something that I mean it looks like it'll move around pretty nice and I don't know if that hopefully that answers your question sparkle flare all right party pickles link to his channels in the description link to the Amazon shirt is also in the description and um, yeah just remember you can't have a party without a pickle apparently I mean I've had some parties before I can't remember if I had pickles but Apparently, maybe it wasn't a real party if I didn't have the pickle. Next up, I got a package from Kevin Speaks. The package is no longer here because I did start breaking it up already. But I'll still mention that Kevin Speaks did send the package. And what he says here is, Mike, here's a red book and some goodies for the kids to figure out which RPMs they are. Have not looked at them. Just broke the tube into 25. Hope you have fun. So what Kevin Speaks did, as I mentioned, I give out red books to people, mostly kids that need red books one of the things I like to do and one of the things I take you know people that do super chats or become channel members I take some of those funds and help do that because I just think it's great to, uh, to spread our hobby and spread the numismatic the love of numismatics out there for everybody so Kevin sent me a copy of a red book a 2021 red book I believe it was I've already sent that out to another person under 18 so thank you for that Kevin I don't have the red book to show because it's already gone out and um so I appreciate that. But Kevin also sent these couple dollar bills here. They're lucky dollars, with the starting with the four eights. Very cool. A lot of people like the number eight and collect the numbers. So a couple crisp dollar bills. I didn't even really realize these were in the package until I went to go give that red book out. I picked up the red book, and these slid right out of the red book. So I guess he put them in there to protect them in shipping. So I'll use these on the channel and probably put those in a giveaway or do something with those at some point. So thank you very much for that. And uh, and what he did is he sent this tube, 1960D repunched mint mark. So you know, 1960D does have a pretty big repunched mint mark. Clever coin name has become a Kittle fan. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome of you, Clever Coin Name. I do appreciate that. Welcome to the Kittle Fan Club. <laughs> awesome. Appreciate the support. And now you can play around with all the emojis, even though you're playing around with the sh be quiet emoji. Ha ha. <laughs> and now you got your name in green. All right. So, yeah, there's a possibility that you could have the major repunch mint mark that's right here on the RPM group lapel pin. But it, so what he wants me to do, I guess, is I got to confirm with Kevin on this because I don't I want to make sure we do it right. But he either wants me to give these out to kids. I don't know if he wants me to give them out to 25 different kids or maybe give them all to one kid and then see if they can attribute which repunch mint marks are because there's so many different repunch mint marks. Um in 1960 for Denver that uh you know I think there's over a hundred of them I don't even know the exact number so just thought it'd be fun to try to attribute them maybe I'll even do like a quick I'll, I'll gotta talk to Kevin to see exactly how we're gonna do this but I do appreciate the donation to the channel Kevin not only of these that I can use as giveaways or something fun sometime but the red book that we already gave away and again we'll try to do something fun with these and I'll get in touch with you on that to clarify what we're gonna do with those so very cool thought it was the no kittles allowed club <laughs> eddie want is a fan just can't no eddie that's that's fine that's why i mentioned i mean different people support channels in different ways you're supporting me here just by watching i uh, get you know a small amount of monetization based on the number of watch time and how many people watch the videos um clicking on the ads i mean watching the ads that helps a little bit um if you're ever buying something on amazon all, my amazon link is in all the videos all the descriptions of my videos Next time you buy something from Amazon, almost everybody buys stuff from Amazon, 
go to my Amazon page, click on like the stapler or just look at one of my items and then say, you know, and then on that page, go to the search bar, search for what you're really going to buy and put it in an order. I won't see that you ordered that. I won't have your name or anything. But in my at the end of the month, I'll see that so-and-so bought a party pickle t-shirt or so-and-so bought a set of screwdrivers or a pair of shoes or whatever the heck you buy on Amazon. And then I'll get like a small percentage of that for the referral. And I won't know who it is. And it's just and it doesn't add anything to the cost. So a lot of people support channels that way. And um, there's a lot of ways you can support different channels without actually doing super chats or doing, you know, memberships like that. But I do appreciate the memberships, and I think we're getting pretty close. I think I might even be able to unlock another emoji soon. I've been thinking about that. We might add a beaver emoji or a Vietnam dong emoji. I haven't decided yet, but we're getting close to that. Maybe I need one or two more subscribers. YouTube doesn't really do a good job, not subscribers, but channel members. YouTube doesn't really do a good job telling you, like, how many members like you have they like right like right now if someone subscribes to my channel publicly i get an email saying clever coin name subscribe to your channel and all that if clever coin name actually pays money and joins my channel like he just did i don't get any notice or email about it the only time i get notice is when i'm on a stream and i have stream labs set up for that now if i go into my memberships part of my channel analytics i can see who the current channel members are but i have YouTube does a horrible, horrible uh, job of keeping people up to date on their memberships and everything, which which is a shame because if someone joins at the Kittle Fan or the Kittle Fan Plus or Plus Plus level, I'd like to be able to say thank you, Clever Coin Name, but I've actually gone in there and saw like, oh crap, somebody joined like five days ago? I didn't even know that. And then I sent them an email saying thank you or whatever, but you guys like that emoji? Well, I got to get at least, I think another me couple members and then I can unlock another emoji. Because I don't really don't push the memberships. And I thought about if you guys want more fun emojis. Right now under my memberships. And you guys can check that if you don't know what we're talking about. Right down by the subscribe button. There will be a join button. It will give you the information. I think my lowest level. The Kittle fan is $1.99 a month. And then I have a four ninety nine and nine nine nine. Now I have the ability to add a $0.99 cent a month level. But I don't know. I just thought after YouTube takes their cut. It's just well let's just make it $1.99. I guess if there's people out there that said, well, shoot, for $0.99, cents, I'd do it, but not for $1.99, I guess I could add a $0.99 cent level just to get more members, and then that'll give us more emojis. I'm thinking about it, maybe, but... Because really, it's not about, I mean, the money. It's just more about having fun at that point, but uh, I don't know. I'm thinking about it, but I don't know what to call it because I got Kittle Fan, Kittle Fan Plus, and Kittle Fan Plus Plus because I couldn't think of different names for the different groups. I mean, I guess I could make the 99 cent level Kittle fan minus, but is that like mean to the people that only spend the 99 cents a month? I don't know. But again, if you watch my membership video when you click on that join, remember, I make a promise to all the people. I got 2,500 subscribers now on the channel. I'm not going to do any exclusive member content. I do give things to the members. I give them stickers. I might even do discounts on shipping. Um, when we do this uh, scent bag break, Whatever they bid, if they're in it, I might even give them a $5 discount. I might give this financial discounts for people that pay the support. But there's going to be no members-only chats, no members-only videos. I don't do members-only posts. I All 2,500 subscribers got the channel to where it's at. And I'm not. we're not a big enough channel to be separating up our membership, in my opinion. So You were just going to unsub after you used each emoji one? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, Clever. That's fine. Hello, Michael. On E, you got a credit card. Be oh no, Tyler, no pressure. Do I do appreciate? It. We could call them little kittles or kittle fan lights or <laughs> kittle fan plus. I could change them all to where the top ones plus plus plus. You're right, Paisley and Daddy show. But um, <laughs> little kittles, <laughs> kittle base. <laughs> I I kind of like kittle fan minus. Just be I don't know, but I think it might. I don't want to be negging my uh my own my own viewers though either. So. All right, we're getting through this. Um, that was a nice little, uh, I guess, Kittle rant on memberships. I do appreciate all of you guys that choose to be members, but then again, I also appreciate the and understand that not everyone can do that or are, or are able to do that. So, Anywho, speaking of clever coin name and Lady Kid Nichols, once again, we told you there's going to be three of them today. There's another... The pile of mail is getting so big here, I don't. it's hard to even balance. And they're drifting into the giveaway territory, so... I'm going to, I might even be a little off camera. I'm going to push the giveaway pile over a little bit. But we got more mail from 
clever coin name and Lady Kid Nichols. This one, I do not have to redact anything. The team at Kittle Coins, Michael Kittle Rare Coins, actually reviewed this and says, wow, can you believe this? Lady Kid Nichols and clever coin name actually sent something you can show on your channel. Amazing. It's amazing. Mini Kittles, call them Skittles, the Kittle Garden. <laughs> All right, so what, we, what, what they did is they contacted me and said, hey, Kittle, guess what? We got some of these silver Mardi Gras doubloons that we're thinking of selling at a local coin shop, but we know you like this kind of stuff. Uh, would you like it instead of us taking it to the coin shop? I'm like, drop it in the mail, guys. Drop it in the mail and send me the bill. So that's what we did. So here's one that we got. You're so freaking lucky. This is the only one I wanted to keep, my birth year and dragons. Take care of it. So let's see what this one is. I'll show you guys these. These are just cool. And I'm going to try to keep the right ones in the right envelope. So this one here is Myths of Legends. And these are all from Endymion. Or Endymion. Endymion, I think, is the name of the group. Endymion, it looks like. Token of Youth, Mardi Gras. And this one, again, Myths and Legends, 1983. And it's just got a pretty sweet dragon on it. Let's see if we can show that in a little bit more detail. 1983. And these are just oval-shaped Mardi Gras doubloons made of uh, 999 silver. Just really cool. Definitely more, uh, more, uh, more scarce than like the other ones that are issued. So that's a cool one, and I guess that's from Clever's birth year. So I, I'm really lucky to have that one. Apparently, that's what I'm. That's what I'm. That's what I'm told here, at least. What do we got going on in there? Uh, Kittle plus 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 gets you a flight to Hawaii, and and then you can stay at the Kittle the Kittle Ranch in Hawaii on Maui, right? Uh, <laughs> is that so? Yes, these are nine 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 silver. Those the balloons are cool, absolutely. And okay, so the next one I got here for Fancy Boy Kittle. I mean, the team at Kittle Coins almost did redact that because we don't know if that's a compliment or if that's. I don't know. I, we didn't. We didn't understand, but we did leave it. We just. We just left it. I didn't know if that was supposed to be nice or not. I didn't know. But anyway, this one here and this one's. We got the weight on. The last one was twenty-eight grams. This one's thirty-nine grams. So they're just different thicknesses and they're not uniform pieces. Um, again, it's Endymion, I believe is how you say it. Token of Youth, the same design there. And on this one, Flights of Fancy, nineteen ninety-three. And we'll take a look at this one. It's got like a dude with a sword, and then uh, looks like that's from Snow White, the witch with the apple, maybe. There's all kinds of stuff going on in this one. Looks like even a roulette wheel, a mermaid on the side, all kinds of crazy stuff going on here. 1993. Hey there, Clay37, how you doing? Sorry if I didn't say hello earlier. So that's that one. And then the last one we'll show. This one is the heaviest one, 43.62 grams, and it says Turtle Power, Turtle Lives Matter. And indeed they do. Indeed they do. Let's see what this one is. Why are they talking about turtles in this? That one just slid right off the table almost there. Again, Endymion. Really, this one's a lot thicker because it's heavier. Same size pretty much, but just the thickness is a little crazier on this one. And uh, this one is for the Creature Feature from 1995. A lot of stuff going on there. And the reason Turtle Lives Matter is right in the middle there, we got a freaking Ninja Turtle. Look at that. And, you know, we're, we're not going to mess around with this one because turtles, you know, I like turtles. You guys ever see that video? I like turtles. Very cool. I was going to put a link to that video or try to get it into the mail call here, but I don't know how to do that kind of stuff. So we're going to go full screen here. Look at that, it's got a Ninja Turtle, it's got E.T., it's got that dude, like Tasmanian Devil, Is that Tweety Bird. At the very top, it's got Jaws at the top. It's got that dude, what is that, Beauty and the Beast. It's got that cat from Alice in Wonderland, I think that is. It's got a merman or something at the bottom in the water. But it's got a freaking Ninja Turtle, guys. It's got a Ninja Turtle. If turtle lives matter, then why do so many people help? Because cat lives matter too. I mean, turtle lives matter, all lives matter, Ram. I mean, we're not, we're not. Just because we say turtle lives matter does not mean that we say cat lives do not matter. 
Ram. Come on. Don't, aren't you on Facebook? Haven't you seen all the people saying all that stuff? So anyway, Ninja Turtle on a chunk of silver. I had to have it, and I'm glad that uh, Clever Coin Name and Lady Kid Nichols offered it to me before they took it to their local coin shop. Where they may or may not have appreciated as much as I do. So they have nine. Well, cats have nine souls, right? Because cat, li cat lives matter at least nine times. Cheshire Cat. That's correct, Philip the Board. Correct. Cowabunga. <laughs> Time for pizza. I think I need to go get some pizza after this just to celebrate my turtle power. Is that all we got left? Is that it? Did we get to the end of this mail call? Well, we did get to the end of all the links provided, but there is one more thing in this mail call. And can anybody guess what's left? Can anybody guess what's left? Anyone? Anyone? Lincoln just got a notification. Well, thank you very much, YouTube, for sending one notification when we're almost done. And Lincoln, I will be finishing this right before uh, Coins for Amateurs starts their show. So we'll be doing a raid, I guess, of them after this. Green balls are left? No, no. SoCal didn't send me any more green styrofoam that's going to go after all over my table. No, no. Not yet. Not quite. And while you guys are trying to guess, I actually got to open this up a little bit because I think one of these might be given away too. I mean, I did not even open this package all the way yet, so Just apologize for that. I'll let a, give you another couple seconds for anyone to guess. Sorry, Mike. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry, Lincoln. Any time you can spend here is uh, is welcome. Anyway, I don't think anybody's guessed it yet. Maybe there's too much delay. Maybe you guys are slow. But what we got next... Of course, is another package from Sticker Mule. I'm a sucker for Sticker Mule. Every time they have a good deal, I fall for it. And did you miss the giveaway? Not yet. We're almost there. So here, we'll empty out the bubble mailer. There's a whole bunch more stuff in there. I already took out the stickers I ordered. Got a bunch more of these Sticker Mule stuff. We already added all this. I mean, we got the mule sauce thing that is also a couple stickers. We'll add that to the giveaway. I'm not going to add a bottle of mule sauce, though, because that'll add too much to the shipping. That I did order mule, more mule sauce. That came in a separate pack. You know, we'll add another mule sauce coaster, so then I can stack the two together with all the stuff between and help in the shipping. But I did get another sticker. And nobody's seen this sticker yet. Maybe maybe Sheldon saw it. Maybe I'm not sending the sauce. The sauce is tasty. I'm not sending the sauce. It would just add too much to the shipping. And, and my luck is that they would break, the sauce would break in shipping, and it'd get all over your coins and stickers. So here is the next Michael Kittle Rare Coins sticker. Are you guys ready to see this? Are you guys ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. The next Michael Kittle Rare Coins sticker. I'm going to take one out, and it'll be part of the giveaway. I don't know how I'm going to give these away. I, I think this might be a special sticker that I just give the donors. I might come up with another way to give these out. But this is the next sticker. One, the, one's going to be given away right here today and you'll be the only person other than me that has one and it's right here the Michael Kittle Rare Coins Beaver and instead of Mike saying Kittle Coins at the bottom it says mk.com at the bottom and let me put that link in here just so you guys can see that mk.com and this beaver, in case you don't know, this ain't no stupid Canadian beaver that you guys all see on them darn Canadian nickels. This is an American beaver. E Pluribus Unum, America, half dollar, United States of America. This comes from the Albany half dollar from 1936. Got a nice big old American beaver on it. So there you go. In case you guys didn't know, if you type in HTTP colon backslash backslash www.mk.com, four M's in MK always. It goes right to kittlecoins.com. I own mk.com. Now, if you type in HTTPS, I don't have a secure website. Your browser will probably block it. But you'll be the first person to have the Kittle Beaver sticker with mk. I don't know exactly how I'm going to give out the rest of these or what I'm going to do. I'll come up with something. Maybe it'll be just sticker trades or maybe just for members or maybe just for support. I don't know. Just got them in the mail. Haven't decided, but... One of them's going out the door, that's for sure. And with that, I think we got to the end of our mail call. Um, I just Before we get to the giveaway here, we're going to get ready for the giveaway. I hardly have any space to roll the die here, so everyone will have a chance to get in on it. What you're going to do is you're just going to type in the next word I type in once per person. 
Spelling counts, capital versus small doesn't matter. No retracting messages. You guys know how I do my giveaways. Get ready for that. While I'm waiting for the lag to catch up and you guys to get your keyboards out and ready, I just want to mention some other videos I have coming up ready or coming up soon. Again, we talked about the 10,000 wheat cent bag break. I will be doing a video on that soon to tell you guys all about that and how to get involved in that if you choose to participate. I've also reached 2,500 subscribers on the channel. We will be doing a 2,500 subscriber giveaway. It's going to be a big giveaway. Gold coin, gold coins, gold coins, S at the end of that, plural, will be involved. There'll be ways for you to earn multiple entries if, if you're willing to do a little work and if you're willing to do maybe a couple shout outs. So stay tuned for that. Rules, the coins, all that will be revealed soon. I also have four different submissions in at PCGS, so in the next few months, expect four more PCGS unboxing videos. I also um, did a recent deal with another, uh, another uh, well, not really a channel, but another person from my coin club where I had to buy some gold coins from them because gold's running up, and they wanted cash, so I had to go to my bank and get a big pile of cash for them. Before I did that, I did a currency hunt video of $20 bills, so there'll be another currency hunt video coming out soon. I still got to do some editing on that. I have a few boxes of Lincoln cents. We'll go through a couple boxes of Lincoln cents in the future here, just searching the rolls. And also beyond that, I probably will do another auction soon. So again, just to give you guys some previews. Remember, what we are going to win today in this giveaway, as you're getting ready for the giveaway, is a 1958 Denver uncirculated Franklin app. I mean, hell, this would be a good giveaway in and of itself. I think you guys all agree, but we don't do just this on KittleCoins.com. You're here on Michael Kittle Rare Coins because you expect more. You demand more, and you deserve more. So not only will you be getting this 58D, you're going to be getting this whole pile of stuff. We'll go through it. You're going to get the Kittle, the one and only. You'll be the only person with the Kittle Beaver MK sticker, a Mule Sauce Coaster, a 54 Washington Court, 1954 Washington Quarter. You're going to be getting stickers, a 2019 W Lowell Quarter. Again, this alone would have been good enough for a giveaway. This alone. That's it. Sodium, how do you enter exactly? I'm going to type one word into the chat. When you see me type the word into the chat, you type exactly what I type. Spelling matters. All you got to do, one time per person. So when you see me type the next word I type in, all you got to do is type it one time, and then you'll have an equal chance to win, and you'll see what happens from there. More stickers. A Linda Wallace Bicentennial Half Dollar Necklace. A 1905 Barber Quarter. I did say the full date that time, Sheldon. Kittle Got Game Sticker. Uh, you got the Kittle Hologram uh, Franklin Half Sticker, an Australian Three Pence Silver, some more stickers. Um, I'm just making a mess here with this. A 1979 S Proof Quarter, a 1967 40% Kennedy, some more stickers, the uh, RPM Group lapel pins, more stickers, more coasters. I don't know. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. You're getting all this, and I know half of it's off the camera. Because look at this pile of mail we got. Crazy. Remember to support all the channels in the description below. You type the next word I type one time. That's it. Take your time. Everyone will have an equal equal chance to win. The first person that answers has the same chance as the last person answers. So take your time. Good luck to you all. Having homemade grilled cheeseburgers and fries for dinner, Mikey. That sounds pretty damn good, but I've just talked about, hey, loaded the stream on your thingy and you got a Bill and Ted ad. That's awesome, Onabushu. And if you guys have not seen the new Bill and Ted movie, Bill and Ted 3, Face the Music, we watched it the other night on JW's Discord. We enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. Remember, one, one entry per person. Do not enter more than once. If you enter more than once, you're out. If you spell the word wrong, you're out. If you retract any of your messages, you're out. Karsten Hunt Silver donated 3.49 euros through Super Chat. I love channel stickers. You rock. Karsten, we did show your sticker. It's an amazing sticker. It's in here somewhere in this big pile. Thank you for that. Your link, the link to Karsten's channel is below in the description. Make sure you guys check that out if you have not already checked that out. So I'm giving you guys another few seconds to get in. If you have not typed in Beaver, caps, small letters, capital letters do not matter. That's fine with me. I know some people on phones have difficulty with small capital. Spelling does matter, though. Amanda Kittle says, sup. If you want a chance to win the giveaway, Amanda, just type the word Beaver in one time. That's all you got to do. We're just doing a giveaway here, and then we're going to go check out coins for amateurs, because I know they're starting any second now. 
So we're going to give people a couple more seconds to get in. Mark just got in. The ad was super long. Hopefully you get all the money. Yeah, I mean, Onibusha, I don't know exactly how the ads work. And we'll just talk about this briefly, give people another second to enter. I know watching, just watching the ads gives me like a fraction of a penny. Even if you watch just five seconds of it and skip it, just that the fact that the ad got in front of your eyeballs, I get like a fraction of a penny. Um, I know if you watch the full ad, I think I get a little more. And I know if you click on the ads, I get definitely more. And I think if you actually clicked on the ad and went to actually purchase whatever the heck they're selling, I would get even more. So I don't expect anybody to do that. But remember, if you're ever swan trying to support another YouTube channel and you can't afford to pay, but you have a little bit of spare time, whenever the ads pop on their channel, either watch it or just click on it, look at that website a little bit, pretend like you might buy it, and then close. I think that does help the channels. I see it in my monetization. Sometimes I'll have old videos that will only have one person view it all week. But I'll get like 80 cents from that one view because somebody probably clicked on the ad. It's just it's just crazy. But I'll do another video where I'll get 500 views and I'll only get like 80 cents for that because nobody clicked on it. So it's just really crazy. You'll leave the giveaway for others. So I'm going to go ahead and type in stop. You guys all had a chance. Stop. Now I'm going to count how many people got in. Let's try to count this. Where did I type? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 people got in on this. So what I got here, and you guys are going to kind of have to trust me because there's no room here. Well, you know what I'll do? I'll try to push the giveaway stuff. You guys see what we're going to do. I'll push this over a little bit more, and I'll try to push this over without it falling on my floor. This little area, I got two dies. Each have 10 numbers. This is the 10 spot. This is the 1 spot. We can roll 0, 0 through 99. Any number we roll 23 or less, we'll, we'll see who the winner is. If we roll higher than that, we'll roll again. First roll was a 4 and a 10. So whoever was the 14th person on my screen is the winner. For, luck got lucky the first roll. Push it. Push it. Push it over. All right. So what I got to do now is, and let me just check Lima. One more time. If you're not a subscriber of Lima Echo Numismatics, he's up at 501. Try to go subscribe to Lima right now. Let's just make sure that 500 sticks. I'm going to type in Lima one more time. Make sure you're subscribed to Lima. One of the coins in this giveaway is a 2019 W quarter that Lima gave to our channel and um, definitely support. So I'm going to go ahead and go full screen now there. And now I'm going to share my screen. Hope this works. Boom. So now you're going to be able to see on here as I go ahead and count this. Let's go up. The 14th person is the winner on my screen and my screen only. Right here is me saying it. One was Sodium. Two Muscle Shell, three Rand, four Lincoln, five Sparkle Flare. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten was Clay. Eleven Sheldon. Twelve, thirteen, and fourteen Michael Bales. Let me count that one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen Michael Bales. Now we gotta make sure Michael Bales followed the rules and didn't enter more than once. Just take a look. I think Michael knows the rules. I don't see Michael entering more than once. Let's just verify. And here's where I type stop. So I'm going to confirm. Uh, Michael Bales won this whole pile of stuff. And now we'll go back to the main screen. Congratulations, Michael Bales. You are the wiener. I mean, you are the winner. Sorry. <laughs> and JW, you just missed it. One, the winner won a whole pile of stuff, including the first one of my Beaver MK stickers that were given out with the American Beaver. MK, MK. So very good, very good. It does help to watch it. Well, yeah, I'm not saying you have to go buy the stuff, but if you can't afford to give super chats or join channel member, cha become channel members, and you really want to support your favorite channel, you can do it with the Amazon links. When you're buying stuff on Amazon anyway, and you can watch ads or just be here to watch the video, that's support too. We got 49 likes on the stream. Awesome. Thank you guys all for that. And uh, always late. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Bravery. <laughs> all right. What else do we got here? Congrats. Congrats to Michael. Michael, send me an email. Even though you think I might have your address from just a couple weeks ago, please send me an email again just to make sure. Kittle, you got going live tonight? Probably. I might do some gaming later. Uh, now the beaver actually no it's not it's not it's actually pretty dry right now pretty dry right now 
So what we're going to do there, I'm just going to go type in email so you know my email address. And now I'm going to go to my YouTube subscriptions. And there's a channel that we like. They were in on this giveaway right now. They were in on the mail call. And you're also getting one of their stickers. They are the Coins for Amateurs. And I think if we all go over there, they're going to be searching a box of cents today. And if you go over there, you can actually guess how many points they're going to do. And you can win some stuff. Or when they get to 50 likes or 100 likes, you can also win stuff. So everybody go over. This is CFA. And go over there and say, Kittle sent you. And I would appreciate that, and they would appreciate it too. The Coins for Amateurs, they're a great channel. They do a lot of good stuff for the come on. This is the end, JW. You made it right to the end. We might see you guys later on Kittle Got Game. I'll type in that one more time. If you're not part of Kittle Got Game, you need to subscribe. Help me reach my childhood dream of getting 1,000 subscribers on my YouTube gaming channel so I can get paid to play video games. So devastated right now. I know, JW. I know. Thank you guys all for hanging out. It's been way too long since I did my last live stream with you guys. And um, we won't make it that long again for the next time. Exactly. And you know what, Rand? You're correct. You're correct. I think Michael Bales already has one of my Kittle Got Game dong notes, so I don't need to add that to the giveaway. But if anybody needs one of the Kittle Got Game Vietnamese dong, just send me an email, and maybe I can get you one of those if you don't have one already. I'm, only, I'm not sending you multiples. I'm keeping track of who's got my dong. So you only get one. But if you don't have one of these and you really want one, you know how to get a hold of me. So again, we'll see you guys over on Coins for Amateurs. See you later, Manda. Maybe I'll talk to you later. Maybe we can play some games. It, it's a real raid this time on Abushu. Coins for Amateurs are cool. It's not the cat channel. It's not the cat channel. So I'll post a link a couple more times. Boom. Boom and boom. And with that, I will check you guys later. And remember, if um, actually I got some, I got a little script I'm supposed to read at the end of my mail calls. All right, thank you all for watching. If any of you out there want to send me anything for a future episode of In the Mail, my address is in the description below. I appreciate all your support, and I hope that you support all the channels in the descriptions below. Until next time, keep having fun with your collections. And Ran, check you later.